Hello, my beautiful friends. So, so many of you reached out to me with words of support and encouragement, and you were so happy about the house in Italy, and a lot of you had questions about manifesting and how exactly you can go about creating your ideal um, destiny. Um, I'm not an expert on it, but I would love to share some of the ways I do. And one of those ways I do that is by remaining positive and only focusing on the good things that are in this world. Um, have I watched the news? Mm, not probably in 20 years. You know, why focus on the sadness and the negativity and the horrendous things going on? Because the truth is, at the end of every news episode, there are adverts for antidepressants and all the sadness I could feel about a hundred people drowning is not going to change the fact that they drowned. So what I prefer to do is to manifest an energy of light around myself, which means that I focus on the positive things I have, like this morning I woke up, I was able to see, and as a result, I was able to use these hands and go through the day, and I was blessed, and coming from a place of blessings means I can then share that light with everyone around me. I choose to, rather than protest and be angry and focus my energy on the things that are not going right in the world, I focus my energy on the individuals I encounter each day. I greet them with a smile, a word of encouragement, a kind uh, word. And that, I believe, person by person, we can literally generally lift up the consciousness of the world one person at a time. Uh, to tell you the truth, I am no expert on it. It's just something I've been doing since I was a very, very little girl. I've always seen the glass as overflowing. Um, and that's not because I had ideal circumstances. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Um, it was the things around me that I didn't like that caused me to create a reality um, that I did want around me. Um, and so I have always put my energy and my attention on the things that I would like to manifest themselves in the world. A lot of people will say that when you put your thoughts in a negative um, Space, the things that you hate and the things that you are opposed to and the things that make you sad are the things that you will attract in your life because your thoughts are energy and when you put your energy towards that, um, that is what you manifest. Um, I'm sure a lot of you will know that I don't um, have any political views or um, I tend to stay out of the news and politics. In fact, I don't know when last I watched the news. And the reason is because the news makes me sad. Occasionally I'll catch a glimpse of it uh, in the gym, it'll be playing somewhere, and hearing a hundred people drown just makes me sad that day. And then that energy that makes me sad is the energy I share with others around me. Um, so I choose to focus on light, on good news, on the fact that I have these hands and that when I woke up this morning I could see. And I choose to change the world one person at a time, one smile at a time, one kind word at a time. I also make no apologies for uh, distancing myself from negative people and naysayers and people who are always complaining because their energy attracts to my energy and brings my energy level down and then that is what I manifest into my life, into my family life, into my day. So staying positive is uh, definitely a key, key, key point to manifesting. And in order to stay positive, I connect with Hashem or the Creator or Buddha, Allah, Ra, whatever you may call him. There is a Creator, there is a light, there is a God. And we are all his children. Uh, we are all of this world. We are all walking a journey that is sad and um, all the sadness that we could feel with the sadness out there is not going to change it. So we should move towards the light. Hashem creates perfect beings and you are one of them. You are his child. He loves you and he is there for you. So turn to him. Find a quiet space in silence where you can connect to him, where you can Express your wishes and your hopes and your dreams and know, not just wish, know that he has your back. Know that he's going to manifest those things for you. So dream big, go big, be beautiful, be bold, and everything you wish for will materialize. 
No more hate, no more anger, no more negativity. Just say no to the people and the things and the news and the environment that put you into that state because it is changing your internal energy. And in changing your internal energy, it's changing the outcome of your destiny. So only love, light, blessings and good news. I love you guys so much.